Hello everyone and welcome back to the Beauty Zone. I'm Felicia. Today's video is a wig tutorial on a wig by Sassy Secrets. They have some really nice units and so I was really excited when I was sent this wig to review. This one is called Sabrina and she is a 22 inch and a 1B and it is a lace front. And you know I love boxes so you get your unit in a box. And she was wrapped up in the tissue paper with Sassy Secrets logo on it. Also on the inside of the box you have um, how to apply your wig and also some hair care instructions. It's really important though um, guys that you really follow what the manufacturer says about caring for your wig. That's going to make the difference between that wig lasting a month, two months, six months to a year or longer. I have a lot of units that I've had for about two or three years and it's because I maintain those wigs. A lot of times as I'm surfing through YouTube and I see, you know, maybe a review I've done on a particular wig and then somebody else will come back and say, well, I didn't have the same experience. They must have sent you, you know, you know, a really high quality wig. That's not the case. You guys have to start taking care of these units. You have to maintain them. I rotate my units so I don't wear the same unit you know for weeks and weeks and weeks you have to let that baby rest so just keep that in mind maintenance is so so important so let's take a look at her again this is Sabrina 22 inches she is a lace front human hair wig and she's really pretty um, I haven't done anything to her just taking her out of the bag she is a little thin to me in the back so I am hoping that once I comb her out she'll fill out nicely we'll see this should be just regular 100% density but I will verify I even still left the lace on I have not cut the lace yet I wanted to show you what she looks like before I cut the lace and so let's take her off I'm gonna put her on I do have on a wig cap but the inside of this cap looks like a glueless cap so since it's so hot outside if you don't want to wear a wig cap you don't have to you know for the front part you could just use your part as the part that you would use for the wig that's fine I do have a video where I've shown you guys how to do that I believe it's the Mariah Free Tress equal wig you can see how I do that technique you do have the wefts again but they are covered up in the back you have lace so if you want to wear your high ponytails you can you have a comb in the back as well as the adjustable straps I don't wear personally I don't wear my own hair up in a ponytail that often so that's why you never see me really do it with the wigs because that's not how I normally wear my hair unless I'm walking or you know working out or something I'll just throw it in a clip hair clip but I don't traditionally wear my hair up like that but you can you have about probably two and a half inches to three inches of lace in the front you have a comb in the middle you also have one comb on each side feel free to move these combs again all you got to do is take a seam ripper or small scissors clip those stitches and just reposition the comb where you would like it to be because sometimes once you put the wig on the combs are not in the position where you would normally wear your combs your lace tapers on each side and of course I have not cut the lace yet so this is what this unit looks like fresh out of the bag you do have the baby hairs in the front I personally like baby hairs some ladies don't you can trim these if they're too long but normally they just blend right in once you have started wearing the unit and especially after you've washed the unit a few times okay you do have baby hair in the back too so we're gonna go on and I'm gonna just place the unit on my head just so that you guys can get a sense now the cap is I believe is a medium size and it fits really well so it's not too small for me I have a big watermelon head as you guys know so it's really important for me to have a really good you know generous size cap fits really good so this is what she looks like before she's combed or I cut the lace or anything so let me turn around to the back and of course she'll look better once she's calmed out 22 inches in length okay to the side the other side hopefully you guys can see this okay and um, she's really really soft 
can't wait to cut this lace on this baby and pin her down. So stay tuned. We're going to do that. I'm going to cut the lace off camera, come back, apply her with bobby pins, and we'll comb her out and see what she looks like. So be right back. Okay, I have her on. Now, you guys know that I really prefer to wash my units before I wear them just because of the fact, you know, your hair at the top will lay flatter once it's washed and conditioned. But I know sometimes once you receive your unit, it's just really, really hard not to want to go on and put her on first. So I didn't wash her first, but of course I did place her on my mannequin head. And she's been on the head for a few days now so that she can get the cone shape, shape out of her at the top. I'm really loving this unit. You know, I thought maybe it was going to be thin. It was looking a little thin once I took her out the box in the back. But I mean, I'm telling you, she is really, really nice. The density is realistic. Oh my God, 22 inches, 22 inches. She's very, very long. In fact, to me, on me because I'm five, two and a half. <laughs> She's all the way to my buttocks area. Really, really pretty unit. Very easy to put on. She's very light too. This would be perfect for a summer wig because the hair is light. It's full, but it's light. And of course, I am loving, 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 loving the curly texture. It looks more like a loose wave. I don't know. Let me see what they're calling it. I don't see anything on the box as far as what it actually is and I don't think there's anything on the inside of the box. Okay, I'll go back to the website and check but it really, really, really looks like a loose wave. Really, really pretty. And you know we love us some hair. Really pretty. I ended up not using the combs except for the one in the back. So the other two, I'm going to probably have to move those to use them or I don't use them at all. Um, of course, I use the bobby pin method and that works for me. If you want to use adhesives, you can, but this is really, really pretty. For you ladies that like to do the high ponytail, 22 inches, this is what she looked like in a ponytail. I'm watching my top here because it's just going every which way. I'm not trying to give you guys that boob action today. But in a ponytail, pretty. Okay. All right. That's going to do it for this beauty zone.